Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Lindquist here with some quick tips on our sauna minutes. Uh, so I know Peter's doing the heart, but I'm going to pop over to the heart real quick uh, and give you some quick tips that we run into all the time. So if you have a coughing dog going on and there's a heart murmur uh, and you need to know, is this a cardiogenic cough or is it not? Just from an ultrasound perspective, obviously we want radiographs and ideally in today's world, CT would be helpful, but do you need to know in a hurry, is this a cardiogenic cough or not? And we talked about this in cats as well in the other sauna minutes. Uh, however, in dogs, we have this typical four to five chamber uh, efficiency clip. This is S-step one, position one on the echo protocol. There's a little bit of a tilt to the heart, but this view was interesting to me because this is a coughing dog and the, the client wants to know, is this a cardiogenic cough or not? So this is um, oh, a 25 pound mixed breed dog. And you can see here's the left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle. Uh, and this is four chamber. Now we go to five chamber with the aorta. Uh, tricuspid valve, and this is where the focus was particularly of this clip to catch this tricuspid insufficiency jet going on, right atrium, right ventricle. So what we have, a drop of blood coming in from the lungs, left atrium, through the mitral valve, through the left ventricle, out through the aorta, coming in through the vena cava, goes into the right atrium, into the through the tricuspid into the right ventricle, and out the pulmonary artery, which is out of view. So if we follow the drop of blood, we know how to follow it through the heart with a four or five chamber efficiency clip. But the key point here is one on this clip, it's very important when you say contractility is good. He probably has a sinus arrhythmia. You can see the pause going on as he breathes. Good volume here. Mitral valve looks pretty good. There's a trivial insufficiency, no big deal. There's a little tricuspid insufficiency here. The right atrial, the left atrial ratio is roughly normal, maybe on a one-to-one -one ratio. So your tri right atrium might be a little bit big, but right atrial enlargement doesn't cause a cough. It can become enlarged owing to increased respiratory uh, pressures in the respiratory circulation. And we measure that by the TR velocity, and pulmonary hypertension being three meters per second or higher. And this would be a good view to get that. But that's not going to be the cause of the cough. It may be a result of primary respiratory disease, and you get a little prominent right heart and some TR. But is that clinical or not? In this case, probably not. We could check the hepatic veins to see if they're dilated, see if there's right side of failure going on. We can obviously do spectral Doppler, this TR jet, to see if it's over 3.5 or 4 meters per second, which is typically the range of potentially clinical pulmonary hypertension without consensus. But the question is, is this dog a cardiogenic cough or not? Is this dog cardiogenic or is, um, is the cough being caused by cardiogenic issues? Now, so in order to have a left-sided emerging failure with a cardiac cough, an advanced stage B2 or early C1 or B2 plus or whatever you want to call it, this left atrium has to be big. So if we stop this clip right here, and we're in roughly a four chamber long axis. So our LA max is with closed mitral valve just before the opening of the mitral valve, right? So our measurement here on this LA max from the mid body, from the septum to the free wall, 2.4 centimeters, well within normal limits. And we can see that that's the atrial septum and this ventricular septum are lined up. There's not this big deviation going on that you get with left atrial enlargement, right? And then if we go and just eyeball our LA to AO June Boone, we could cheat a little bit here and take a look at that. And our June Boone is normal as well. So we have about a 1.15, you know, 1.2, absolutely normal. So left atrial size is normal, which means left sided or a left atrial wedge pressure is normal. It's not excessive enough to cause left atrial dilation or even a mainstem bronchus cough. So this is a quick and easy way to show if you have a cough and a normal left atrial size, best visualized in a four chamber long axis, even though this is a tilt, it's, it's still good enough for our purposes for quick view. I know that this dog is a non-cardiogenic cough dog. Okay. So all of this tells me in a matter of seconds to minutes, this is non-cardiogenic cough. There is some TR, probably not an issue. You get it all the time. Maybe we measure it, 
maybe we see if there's pulmonary hypertension going on here. And this TR jets are typically towards the atrial septum in this direction. You want to be within 15 degrees theta to make sure you measure it out um, uh, uh, appropriately. And also make sure that your hepatic veins and BDK are not dilated, which would suggest passive congestion coming from the right heart. But those are some just quick tips on how to quickly evaluate the heart to see if this is cardiogenic dog or not. Hope this helps, and I uh, hope you're enjoying our Sauna Minute series.